What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this effect from Oppenheimer when he has his mental breakdown during his victory speech. Sadly, I did not find the clip on the internet yet. Just the scene itself, it's from this scene when he stands right there in front of the crowd, gives his speech and then thinks about his actions and the consequences of his actions. So this is the final recreated effect. I'm using Final Cut for this one, but you can do it in After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, any editing software will do just fine because it's just some simple editing techniques. First, what do we need to shoot? Shoot yourself or the actor having a mental breakdown, looking across the crowd or just staring into the distance. And then to make the effect even easier, get a clean plate of the blurred background. You don't have to do this, but it will make it way easier in post. So let's jump right into Final Cut. First, let's trim our clip to the parts we want to use. So me acting out the scene like a true Oscar nominated actor and then just take the clean plate. Now we have to put the clip of our actor above the clean plate. Just match it up right here. And now we have to mask out our actor. Now, since I don't have a lot of movement in the scene and the camera doesn't have any movement at all, a normal draw mask will do just fine. If you want to take more time and do a better job, you could also use the rotoscope tool or use a green screen on set to separate yourself from the background. But for tutorial purposes, a simple draw mask will do just fine. So let's go down here to the effects section and look up draw mask. Drag that one onto our clip. And now once we scale our preview window down to 50%, we can just do a simple mask around the actor. Again, this does not have to be perfect. The more time and effort you spend on it, the better the end result will be, but let's just do it with the draw mask. As you can see, since I don't move a lot, it will do just fine like this. Maybe set a keyframe for all of the points right here, skip forward a few frames, and then move the mask a little bit to the side. Do it again right here and move it back right here. And now we have our almost perfect track for the simple mask. Now I will disable the clip beneath it and also disable the mask to just look at the feathering, just feather it a little bit, maybe change the fall off a little bit. Just be careful that you don't move outside of the mask. Now we can enable our lower clip again and go to the effects to look up handheld. Now I'm using the handheld effect in Final Cut. You could also do it manually with keyframes or use some wiggle expressions if you're in Final Cut. So let's drag the handheld effect onto the lower clip and also onto the upper clip. If we don't do that, the zoom in of the clips won't match because it zooms in when you use the handheld effect. Now go to the lower clip and set the distance to 10. Our shakiness all the way up to 100. Select the upper clip, go to the handheld effect, set our distance also to 10 so it matches up and the shakiness to zero. As you can see, we already have a little shake in the background, but it's not like in the film. So duplicate the lower clip by holding down options and dragging it upwards. Now select the lower clip again, go to shakiness and set the value to just 50 or something lower. And now select the middle clip, so the upper clip of the backgrounds. This is beginning to be a little bit confusing, I hope you can follow me. And go to the blending mode and set that one to add. Since the background is now brighter, we can see the line of the mask so we select the clip and turn down the exposure so that it matches up with the background again. Just play around a little bit what works for you and then feel free to play around a little bit with the shakiness settings and also the blending modes to create your desired mental breakdown effect. I feathered the mask some more and now also set the shakiness of the background layer to zero. Once we play it back now you can see we have a subtle shakiness effect. If you want to change that a little bit you can select the middle clip and set the shakiness for example to 20. Now maybe this won't function if you have a lot of movement in the clip but in this example it works just fine and once we play it back, we now have a background that shakes even more. Now slap a grade on everything, I use the Ruhr LUT, which is an Oppenheimer LUT from the Resolve store. Link is down in the description, you can download it for free, I just found it on the internet, but have no affiliation with them. And that's it from this tutorial, here you can see some variations to add your own flair, maybe with an unsharp vignette, some RGB splits, or some even crazier stuff with maybe some third party plugins, for some really trippy effects that you can use, for example, in some music videos. That's it from this tutorial, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and also consider subscribing right here, you can find more Final Cut Pro videos in the playlist right here, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.